my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everyone, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review Predators, the 2010 film. But before I review Predators, let's go ahead and take it away with my guest star, Trey Passer. So just sit back and enjoy his take on the film. Hi, this is Trey Passer, and welcome to my review of Predators, 2010's version of Predator. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because a great fellow YouTuber, uh, 22 Tiger Dude, um, is, this month he's doing a month, Halloween extravaganza monthly reviews, getting different YouTubers to do reviews, and yeah, putting it on his channel. Um, so he asked me uh, if I would like to do a review a movie. And he's gonna I think, upload it on his channel for the different, you know, for the month of October. And I said, fine, I would love to contribute to his channel. He makes great views and he makes great videos. Excuse me. So he asked me to choose, and I chose Predators, 2010 version of Predators, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, of course, there was the Arnold version, of course, that came out, and then there was the sequel with Danny Glover that was set in the feature, and then two really bad <laughs> uh, Predators versus Alien sequels. I think by directed by Paul um, by Paul Anderson, but it were really mm, quite forgettable. But then this one came out, which was uh, produced by um, Robert Rodriguez, okay, and and which actually was pretty good. It was a decent uh, flick, actually, a, definitely a step up from the the previous two Predator vs. Alien sequels. Anyway, this movie stars Adrian Brody, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Topher Grace. Um, who else? Uh, Alex Braga, Walter Goggins, and Danny Trejo. And basically, it takes place with basically a group of elite, a group of uh, warriors get, they basically, you know, it starts off the movie with them getting dropped, basically dropped from the sky, you know, and landing on this strange, you know, the strange place where, you know, when they're trying to, you know, of course, they, they're strapped with military gear and stuff, and they're trying to figure out you know, where they are, first of all, and, and why they got dropped, because they don't remember, all they remember is like a flash of light, and then all of a sudden, then they were on this on this uh, strange place. Okay, so you have Royce, which is uh, played by Adrian Brody, uh, okay, who's a, uh, a soldier of fortune, and then you got uh, Edwin, who played by Topher Grace, who's a doctor, and you got Alice Braggers, she's a, um, another soldier, and then you got Walter Goggins, who's a prisoner, and you got a uh, uh, Nikolai there was like a Russian so soldier, and Danny Trail who works uh, uh, for the Mexican uh, drug lords, and basically they're trying to figure out why they are first of all why they're on this planet, oh excuse me, or planet, planet, you know, and why they're on this, you know, and what's going on, and basically, like you said, you can tell by the time you know what predators do, predators hunt, and basically they start to slowly but surely figure out that they're were brought this to this strange planet to be hunted, okay? And they slowly but surely, and they figure out by things that happen to them, like they get a, they get forced out into the open, then they get chased, and then they get set up. Predators set all these kind of traps for them, and basically it's there up to them to try to survive and try to figure out, you know, how to get off this planet, okay? And it's a really really good movie. Um, this is definitely like I said, a step up from the Alien versus Predators sequels. That came out, which are really, are really quite awful. Okay, but this one is like a step up, and I know a lot of people. Sometimes people, because Adrian Brody doesn't really do action movies per se, uh, but he, I thought he was really good as Rory Stay. You know, he's like the reluctant leader who's trying to figure out why, where they are, and what's going on, and what's going on, and how to 
you know, basically survive. He's, I think he's really good because he's not a nice guy. He's, you know, he's doing what he, he has to do to survive. So I like, I like this character. And then you got Alice Bragger. She's like the, like I said, she's like a, she's another soldier, and she's, but she's a little bit more compassionate thinking of the others. But he's like more practical thinking of how I'm, you know, I'm gonna survive and get off this planet and, and not get killed by these predators. And then you have the various other stereotypical characters. And, you know, like I said, you got the, uh, the, the African guy who's another soldier of fortune. You got the Japanese gangster character. You have the prisoner. And then you have the doctor character, Topher Kubrick's character. And then you, you all, you know, basically all, like I said, trying to figure out why all these wacky things are happening to them, you know, how to survive and why they're there. And it's a really good movie. Um, like I said, um, this is a rated R, which is good. And it's nice, has nice action and nice, nice kills and nice predator action. And... I would give this movie a uh, 7.5. I'll give it a 7.5 because I thought it was quite good. It likes to definitely step up from the the two Alien vs. Predator se you know, sequels, which were really bad. <laughs> and this one's more in line with the, the first two Predator movies. Okay, so definitely worth seeing. Okay, so again, uh, I definitely highly recommend this. And again, for 22 Tiger Dude. Okay, this is, again, thank you for asking me to do this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I look forward to watching your other videos, too. So thank you for including me in this, your Halloween extravaganza month of reviews. Okay, thank you very much for doing this. I truly, truly appreciate it. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care. I like how you put Tiger Power at the end of your video, Paul. Thanks for the Tiger Power support, dude. And thanks for reviewing Predators on my channel, Paul. I really do appreciate it. You guys, please check out Trey Pastor's channel. He's had He has a very great channel. He does Saturday reviews. He does new theatrical release reviews uh, every week. He does Blu-ray updates, and he'll even have his contests sometimes. Please check out his channel. Give the man support. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. So, I don't have to go over the plot of Predator since uh, Paul already went through it. Thank you, Paul, by the way, for going over the plot. And my thoughts on Predator's... I remember going into the theater to see Predators, and I was kind of interested. I wasn't, like, excited or anything, but I was like, huh, this could be an interesting film. This has a lot of potential. The minute the movie begins, boom, I'm already sucked into the film. I'm already into Predators. I'm all like, the tone feels right, the characters are pretty good, it has amazing action scenes, pretty good visuals, and the story overall was actually pretty good. I had a real blast with Predators, the first half at least. The first half of Predators, in my opinion, is just awesome. It is a complete blast. The action scenes are awesome. The storyline was well done. It had pretty good writing, actually. Great characters as well. And I was just really into the first half, and I was just so amazed on how great it was. And then... Once the film reaches to the second half, it becomes lame, boring, and crap. I hated the second half of Predators. And that really, really just hurt me down here. Because I really enjoyed the first half of Predators so much. And then, once the second half came... I just didn't have fun with the film anymore. Not only that, but like, it's like the script turned around and went from being really good, just being really fun, to just being really shitty and being just lame. It was boring as hell. Once Lawrence Fishburne comes in the film, because he doesn't really come in until the second half, I am not kidding you. There is this long-ass talking scene. I don't know how long it lasts. I think it lasts maybe 20 minutes. 
the crew in Lawrence Fishburne, they have a long talk and I was so bored out of my mind just watching that talking scene. And then, of course, once that long talking scene is over, you go into the finale of the film, which was crap, which was predictable, and it was just not good. And I was just really angered by the second half of the film. I had a blast with the first half, but I just hated the second half so much. As a whole, is an okay film. It's definitely not a film I could watch again. Maybe the first half I'll watch again, and then once the second half comes, I'll just stop watching the film. That's what I would probably do with this film, honestly, in my opinion. If you guys actually enjoyed the whole movie, that's good, and I want you guys to be able to enjoy the whole movie and not just enjoy half of the movie like me. I am going to give Predators 2 out of 4 stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... TIGER POWER!